Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 14 in this series and is entitled Overloading Methods in Java. The next activity is very important as it will introduce us to the concept of overloading. Overloading is the use of the same method with different numbers of parameters, including zero and even a different return type. We will create a Java class here that will ask a user to enter the side of a square and the length and width of a rectangle. So that means there are two shapes here, a square and a rectangle. We will use non-void methods to compute the perimeter of both. The perimeter of a square is four times the side, while the rectangle is twice the length and twice the width. We will use overloading for all the methods, including a third void method that displays the definition of perimeter. So in this problem, or in this activity, we're going to have three methods, but of the same name. Let's do it. We will have three inputs here, the side of the square and the width and the length of the rectangle. The process is simple computations of the perimeter, but the more important thing to consider here is that there should be three methods with the same name two non-void methods for the perimeter of the square and rectangle, and a third method that is void. Notice that one non-void method has only one argument, while the other has two. Our outputs will be the perimeter of the square, the perimeter of the rectangle, and the definition of the perimeter. Let's call this project shape perimeters. Let's first do our three methods. All of them are public static, two are of integer return type. Their names are all perimeter. The first method has one argument. This is to compute for the perimeter of the square. We will declare P as our perimeter. The perimeter here is equal to 4 times the side. The variable for the side here is S. And we will return P. I'll just copy this one for our second non-void method. But this time, there will be two arguments, one for the length and another for the width. This time, the perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And again, we will return P. The third method is a void method that doesn't have any argument and all we're going to do here is to write the definition of a perimeter now what's the definition of a perimeter <laughs> uh, let's just say that the perimeter is the measurement of the boundary of a figure. We can now implement our three methods. Start by importing scanner. Let's instantiate our scanner. Scanner system that in let's declare four variables one for the side, the perimeter, the length, and the width. Oh, what have I been thinking? It should be integer. Okay, now we can start with the square. Let's first ask for the value of the side. Enter the side, and we will place that in variable side. The perimeter of the square will be taken from, of course, the perimeter method that has only one argument, and we will pass to that method the side value. Okay, so now we can display the perimeter of the square. 
that print line the perimeter of the square is perim okay that's it for the square let's do another for the rectangle i'm going to simply copy it to save me from this typing problem of mine <laughs> for the rectangle we have to enter the length we will put that in variable length and another copy for the width which will be placed in variable width the perimeter for the rectangle is the perimeter method with two arguments the length and the width correct did we start with the length okay yeah the length and the width so if we display display the output the perimeter of the rectangle is perim wow we're almost done the last method is simply going to display the definition of perimeter and it can be called by simply calling the method without any argument that's it class now let's try to run the program for the square it's of size 10 we'll make it a little bigger so everyone can see now this is for the rectangle let's say the side is 6 the length the width is 7 the perimeter of the rectangle is 26 and the last part there is the perimeter with uh, no argument at all the void method perimeter is the measurement of the boundary of a figure okay I think you've done many things already for this part but there's one more concept that we want uh, you to learn and that is the uh, methods being placed in another class separate from the class where the main method is contained so this is activity number 28 we will revise the last activity by placing all the three methods in another class file called my methods so everything is still the same except that those three methods will now be inside another class which we will call my methods so to revise this we have to create a new class a new java class we're going to call it my methods then i'll cut the three methods that we have here in shape parameters control x now there are some errors and I'll put them inside the my methods class but this time I will delete uh, this uh, measurements the public static so that it will not be static okay we're done with the my methods class we'll now go back to shape parameters to revise this uh, first because this is already a class called my methods that means we have to instantiate an object of this class let's call it my user defined methods my UDM is equal to new my methods okay now that we have an object look at this one if I type my UDM dot you will see that there are three perimeter methods one without an argument the other with an argument called S and the other LW so now that makes it a class so all we have to do is to put my UDM to every method so it can be seen by our program and the other one class everyone 
you've done well uh, today in this part. So let's try to run it. Let's enter side 2 for the square. The perimeter is 8. Enter the length, let's say 3 for the rectangle. The width is 4. The perimeter is 14. And the perimeter is the measurement of the boundary of the figure. It's still the same. Well, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.